type, it's open the file called index. Your opening front page file is always called index. So we're going to go to the slice tool here. I'm going to make sure that's selected. And if you don't have your rulers down, please do it now. And we're going to drag down some guides to help us draw our slices. So I'm just going to pull guides over like this. And like this. I'm not being too careful. OK. And I want to make one slice out of this logo of the tree. So I'll just go like this. The point on the slice tool is what's active. And you see it automatically makes a slice. Now I'm going to make a slice for homes, one for mortgages. And if you have a little trouble, just hold on to your wrist. There we go. Locations and contact us. OK, I've got that. Now I want one slice for this over here, like that. And I'm going to make a slice for each one. And we have it. OK, so what you can do is um, go now to either Save Selected Slices, and you select the slices with the Slice Selection tool. And I'll just select this one, and you can tell that this is different when it's selected. And you can just go um, select whichever slides, slices you want and say Save Selected Slices. And it's going to look like this. You'll put down the name and you say Save. OK, I'll cancel that. The next alternative you have is Save for the Web. And what this does is give you an opportunity to optimize your slices. So you do this two up. And this is your hand tool, which allows you to move this around like that. Um, you can magnify by going in like that. And I'll do a Control minus. Oops. Oops. Um, there. Control zero. There we go. And get that back. And the eyedropper tool and the eyedropper color tool. And this is just to size the slices for visibility. Some people don't like that, so you can put that on and off. So let's go to the Slice Selection tool. And I'll double click here on this tree there. And uh, oh, I should go back. And um, let, me, let me just pick this one here. Um, it automatically thinks that you want to do a GIF file, and it automatically gave us a transparent background on this. Well, maybe we want a JPEG on this. So what we can do is move this to JPEG like this, and we want to do it about 60%. That's about the right amount. It is a little rough, I see, so maybe we would even want to do it more than that. Hmm. Why that's rough. Well, 60% is what I usually use. Uh, you can do progressive, which means that it will go 
um, in lines of eight and use um, ICC colors profile. You know, the the <coughs> uh, Internet Color Consortium. Okay, and the background is a matte white. So you can go like that and do that. Now, on here, I'm just going to accept the GIF file, and I'm going to give this a username of Holmes G. Usually keep eight characters and do it in lowercase. It's going to go to Holmes.html. That's the URL where it will go. Um, you come here. It is a gallery of homes is the message and you see it will appear at the bottom of the browser Oops. and we will repeat this for the alt text here very good which would be used for people using blind browsers and that sort of thing. And click on OK. I'm going to come to this file here and I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to call this Holmes White because the type is white. No other reason. And it too is going to go to Holmes.html and it's going to be message is going to be gallery of homes gallery of homes for the target and it's going to be open in a blank that that means it's going to get a new page or a new tab as opposed to opening in the same tab and we'll say okay and then you can also um, dither the browser so if you've got some unusual colors or something like that um, it'll turn out right and you can do either all slices all user slices or the selected slices we're going to do all slices and I'm going to go to save and it says images only and I'm going to save this to my desktop And if you look here, I have a folder, and inside the folder are all the files that I made with that. So that can be a great savings for you if you're doing work for a website. Good luck to you, and just send me the index file with the slices done, and do two of those um, save as like we did here. Okay? Bye-bye now.